Hello everyone, it is our reversal. Welcome back to another episode of Knights of Dragons and today I actually have a bunch of armors once again uh, From the actual epic raid boss event because there was a glitch of course And I actually managed to get my milestone awards But because of that and I actually threw in some gems at the same time Supposedly I actually managed to get a whole bunch of armors and I'm actually just going to show you guys uh, I have like uh, 79 armors, but they're all like three stars and two stars. So here we go We got of like 13 armor of the infernal lords and 31 forge masters garbs so i thought to myself i might as well just level up my arcade mantle once again so that way we can actually hopefully get it up to the maximum level so that's actually what i'm going to be doing in this episode we have 26 more levels to go and this episode is actually going to be hopefully the moment in which we are going to be uh whoa that is expensive but um I'm gonna throw in that basic and that and that silver star regardless. Uh, experience is experience, and if I'm not having enough money, I should probably save up later on as well. It's level 73 right now. I should probably go up a level or two after this. And I am not sure if I'll be capable of getting it up to level 99. I have a good feeling about it. But on the other hand, another part of me tells me that it's going to be absolutely impossible. I am going to be using the three stars for the record. I know uh, some of you guys might say it is going to be a waste. I think differently because I don't... Like, I don't really farm. Uh, I don't really farm uh, uh, the the Palace of Darkness or Kingdom of Darkness. Uh, that that kind of makes uh, sure that I won't be getting any armors whatsoever. So that is part of the reason why I am going to be enhancing those armors at the same time. So here we go. We're currently level 78, and just from two stars, I'm barely getting a level. And that is something you guys should keep in mind. After level 70, you're barely getting a level, and everything is really expensive too. Level 79 right now, gonna go to level 80 right now, 120,000, I think that's the maximum that armors can cost, uh, I'm not sure of it, I think it was 30,000 per armor that it could cost maximum, uh, level 80, I think we're gonna find out right now, yeah, again, 120,000 gold, so we should have enough money, I mean, I have 2 million or 3 million left, 3.7 million, so that should be good, uh, level 81 right now, I think we're going to be getting 2 levels right now, and I'm not sure Sure, I think that in the end, like, um, after level 70-ish, uh, the experience gain for a level needed, uh, the, the, the level up experience needed for a level, uh, I think that is going to be the same as it, um, the same as it was. Uh, the same as every single level after that, I'm not sure, I cannot really confirm that. Okay, I'm gonna throw in this because then I can do three packs of the armor of the infernal lords and uh, I never imagined myself to actually enhance uh, the armor of the infernal lords alongside with the in, in, in actual armors I never expected myself to do something like this so this is a uh, one of the three packs that I can do to get. I'm actually really curious to see how much experience we're going to be getting. And that experience is uh, 200, uh, 300. That is... Um I don't even know, 75 experience per, no, yeah, 75 experience per armor of the Infernal Lord, brings me up to level 87, so we're getting there, we're not gonna get to level 99 pretty obviously right now, but at least level 90 will be a possibility, and that's a great thing, level 89 right now, and 4 more should bring it up to level 91 i think level 91 and that means that we got eight more levels to go before it is maxed out so so far look at the stats 1800 attack 1618 defense we're actually going to compare it to the others and as you guys can see it is definitely better than the uh, than the Blazeborn Vanguard right now, and I'm very happy about that. And it almost even surpasses the Arbor Steel Vanguard. It really depends on how you're looking at it. Um, what I can see is that the total combined stats of the Arcane Mantles almost exceeding the Arbor Steel Vanguard, and um, ultimately it should completely surpass that. So I have a very strong armor right now. While well, some of you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, Arcane is really weak," but for me it's really strong, and I'm pretty happy with this. So, um, yeah, on that note, I did everything that I wanted to be doing in this episode. It is currently, right now, level 91, and I'm definitely going to be using this one in my lineup. It's a great asset to my lineup. I didn't have any spirit armor, so it's going to be really helpful. And next time, we're just going to be getting it to, uh, up to level 99. I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to figure out ways. And, of course, I'm going to be showing it off to you guys. So, on that note, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And, as always, make sure that if you guys like 
like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. This is our reversal for Knights and Dragons. I'll be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm also available on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and other social media links. Links in the video description and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for your daily doses of reversalness. Is that even a word?